New details now on the latest banking scare and a revealing pair of reports detailing the shortfalls leading up to the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. The Federal Reserve saying in part blaming itself for the second biggest bank failure in U.S. history. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze joining us now from Washington with the latest. Elizabeth, good morning. Wait, good morning. The Federal Reserve here is taking some responsibility for its role in the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank as it signals a push to toughen up some banking regulations. Morning, the Federal Reserve is admitting it failed to prevent the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, the second biggest bank failure in American history that sent shockwaves through the global economy. In a sweeping internal review, the Fed saying it failed to take forceful enough action as SVB grew in size and complexity. And even after issuing dozens of warnings, the Fed acknowledging it didn't take steps to fix the bank's problems quickly enough. This is a big deal because Silicon Valley Bank was the 16th largest bank in the United States, and it was supposed to be properly regulated and supervised by the Federal Reserve, and it failed under their noses. The Fed also putting the blame on SVB executives. Former CEO Greg Becker served on the board of the regional Fed bank overseeing SVB until the day of its downfall. This is a textbook case of, of bank mismanagement. SVB's collapse March 10th was stunning and swift as depositors raced to withdraw funds. All our money is in the bank. I don't know how we're going to do our payroll. Two days later, regulators took control of New York-based Signature Bank. The FDIC now also admitting its staff and Signature Bank's management should have acted faster to stop that collapse. The Fed says it will take steps to tighten regulations on mid-sized banks that were loosened under the Trump administration as ongoing turmoil in the banking system rattles investors. Okay, we might want to go back to some uh, a heavier regulatory touch, and I think that's going to be something that we talk about in, in the months to come.